First story for local news. Parents outraged after son dropped off bus at wrong school bus stop. It's fucking hilarious. A Fox 35 exclusive now. A five-year-old boy dropped off at the wrong bus stop in Osceola County. And now his family wants some answers from the school district. They spoke exclusively with Fox 35's Valerie Boy today. The child's father was waiting for him at his bus stop. But when it showed up without him, both his mom and dad were scared something terrible happened to their little boy. And his big sister was also worried. I was scared because I didn't see him get off. Seven-year-old Gianna Ricketts knew something was wrong when she got off at her bus stop and realized her baby brother wasn't on the bus. Their mom and dad thought the worst. No parent should go through that. That was the longest hour that felt like 20 hours of not knowing. Jessica Ricketts and her husband Omar Rodriguez panicked when they say their five-year-old son Ezekiel failed to be dropped off at his bus stop in St. Cloud. I freaked out. Totally freaked out. Omar says he asked the bus driver where his son was. The most she was doing was saying that he wasn't even on the bus. Turns out Ezekiel was on the bus but got off at the wrong stop. Where were you the whole time, Zeke? At my friend's house. Like a mom found him, she got my number somehow, and that's how we found him. Not the school, not bus. Superintendent Dr. Deborah Pace says she's looking into this after failing to be notified about it when it was happening. An Osceola School District spokesperson released a statement saying, in part, in the first few weeks of school, it's impossible for the drivers and attendants to know all their students off the bat. Once we were made aware of the situation, we immediately pulled every resource possible to find the student. And I actually had transportation call me today, and all they told me was they're going to have a talk with them about doing the ID. The district is using a new student ridership program where drivers scan a student's ID when they come on and off the bus, but it's still in the testing stage. Did they scan your ID? No. Oh, horrible. Horrible. Jessica says what happened is unacceptable. We already had issues with the bus because everything's been so late, this, so it's frustrating. And Jessica says her seven-year-old daughter also takes the bus and thinks this would have been avoided if they were allowed to sit next to each other. But instead, she was at the back of the bus and couldn't see when he got off. Again, the superintendent says she plans to look into this so this doesn't happen again.